Good morning. It is raining. I'm not sure if you can hear the rain. I'm out on the back porch. It's raining and it's supposed to rain all day and it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. But I'm hoping there'll be some sort of break in the rain at some point and maybe I can get out and do something, get something done. Otherwise, not much I can do. There's a break in the rain, so I'm gonna quickly try to uh, get as much done as possible. Just maintenance, I think there's some things to harvest as well. Um, I gotta be quick because I think it could rain at any minute. Trying to train this plant, this uh, this squash, to go back up vertically. The the main stem was kind of coming out, away from the. I don't know if you can see the the tomato cage, but it was coming away from that. So I'm just trying to pull it back up to it so that it can keep going vertically and keep all of the squash off the ground. So I'm pretty sure these tomato plants are diseased. They pretty much all have leaves that are doing this. And that's what I was just cutting off. And to be honest, I don't really even know if that's what I should be doing. I just think that I should probably remove the diseased parts if possible. But I'm pretty sure it's already on the whole plant. So here's leaves on it that I didn't even pull off. And they also seem to be like deformed leaves. They don't even look like normal leaves. But I think it's also like growing on the stems. Just like brown spots on the main stems of the plants. But like also, this doesn't look like normal growth. Like what is this? Like what, what is happening to these? I can look at all that. What is all this? This doesn't look normal. Or at least it doesn't look like normal from any tomato plant I've ever seen, but maybe this is some weird variety. I don't know, it doesn't look right to me. Something doesn't look right. And I mean also this tomato down here is something's obviously wrong with it. So, you know, you live and you learn. You have to learn something. I mean, there's some tomatoes on here that look healthy. I mean, there's quite a lot. They're all green right now. But there's quite a lot of tomatoes that look fine. But I guess only time will tell.
this is my herb garden on the side of the house. Um, there's some dill, dill right here. This is German thyme, and behind me is some basil, and I can smell the basil, it smells amazing. Now, all these were bought at just Ace Hardware, so they were probably full of uh, plant steroids or something fertilizer just to keep them growing but they've been doing okay they've been here a couple of weeks actually probably about a month three weeks or a month and the the dill the thyme and the basil is all growing fine growing really well and then there's lavender back here and I'm not sure if it's growing I think it's I think it's okay I think it's alive it's not it doesn't really seem to be growing very well but that's okay I'm not gonna eat the lavender anyway although I think you can eat lavender but really I just wanted to for the for the looks and for the smell but I can always replant more of that. I'm really excited about having herbs. I love to cook and I love having um, fresh herbs. So it'll be really cool to be able to come out and just pick some dill and some thyme and some, some basil. But the reason I'm over here now is I want to put some hay um, in this whole bed just to protect the soil here, just like everywhere else. Those are some young blueberry bushes and I just put the, the excess hay that I had just around those. They already had hay around them but more isn't going to hurt. I'm going to get some cucumbers. Well, it's ended up being pretty sunny. It looks like it's gonna be sunny for a decent amount of time. So I have a bit more of the fencing left. So I'm gonna go ahead and, um, since I now realize uh, that the rabbits can get through the chain link fence, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this out as much as I can and then I'll have to go get more later to finish the whole, the whole fence. <laughs> and I didn't see him before, but that's a rabbit. Like right here behind the fence. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get him. Here. At least he's behind the fence. I'm not in the fence. He was probably coming out to try to get some food and then saw me. Well, I'm about to block his pathway, hopefully.
Well, we have a new development. And it's not good. As I was putting up this small piece of the fence right here, I noticed this. And I said, I didn't cut that out. And then I looked on the ground and pieces have been chewed through. Obviously chewed through. So either it's the rabbits or it's the chipmunks that we saw yesterday. But they definitely chewed through it. So it kind of puts a wrench in this whole fence that I'm using, huh? That's unfortunate. Okay, Google. Can rabbits chew through a plastic fence? According to Deer Busters, plastic fencing is not chew resistant and is not the best choice for garden protection against rabbits. Insider's tip to prevent burrowing from rabbits, trench the fence into the ground at least six inches. Okay. That would have been good to know before I put up all that plastic fencing. I mean, in the back of my mind, I kind of knew that rabbits could chew things, but like, I don't know. I guess I just didn't think they were that smart. But obviously, they are. I keep underestimating these rabbits. I mean, it's not a, it's not a difficult, fix. I just have to get metal fencing. And that's more expensive. But in the long run, probably worth it. Or I could just get rid of the rabbits in other ways, but I don't want to have to do that. I could remove them and put them somewhere else. Put traps up, trap them, and then move them somewhere. Unfortunate. All right, well, I'm feeling pretty defeated by the rabbits right now. And I feel pretty stupid because I should have known that they could just chew through fencing. And also I did research and just didn't come across anything about that. And then obviously, as you heard, Google just answered that um, they obviously can do that. So they definitely win. The rabbits definitely win this round. Um, but this just means I'm gonna have to, I think what I'm gonna do is just get a metal fencing, a more fencing appropriate for keeping rabbits out, and just put it around the main garden bed right now. And then once I get all the wood chips in towards the downside of the yard down here, I'll just, I'll just take that, the metal fence that's right here, and I'll just fold it out this way to then go across the yard. Um, and then also down along the chain link fence or on the bottom side of the yard. The top half of the yard I don't plan on um, turning into any gardening or anything, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. Um, so that's my plan for now, um, but I obviously don't have the, the metal fencing right now, so I'll have to get that later and then that'll probably be in a later video. Well, the rabbits may have defeated me today, but uh, let's see if I can defeat some people in some tennis. We're playing some sort of crazy around the world tennis.
That's exhausting. <laughs> With three people? No, no, no. I got it yeah. on my thing. Yeah. That's what they do. Like, they also, it's kind of busy. No, it's not I'm honestly surprised nobody's just ran straight into the ball here. Well, tennis was fun. Great workout. I ran to Home Depot afterwards um, to try to get some chicken uh, or poultry fencing or poultry netting, whatever they call it. Because I think that's what I'm going to need to put around the garden. And they are completely out. The workers there said that with the virus going around, the whole virus thing happening, that uh, they're out of stock on a whole lot of stuff and it's really hard for them to get it in. So even if they get it in, it won't be until next week. And even then, I don't think it's a guarantee. I'm going to try Lowe's. I'm going to call Lowe's tomorrow and see if they have any. If they don't, I'm going to look online and see if I can get any ordered in. But I have no idea when it's going to get here. So, But other than that, that is it for today. I'll catch you next time.